Good afternoon, it is Friday afternoon and welcome to Blob on a Bike, week 26 perhaps. Uh, now, I uh, wanted to do an exciting start to the video today, but sadly there's loads of people parked in the place where I'd need to go to do that. So I've had to go down the road and park in a boring lay-by. Uh, so that's out the window. I'm near Stib today, on the outskirts of Butte, oh my chain is slipping again. Uh, near Duckpool Bay I believe and I'm currently panting up this hill oh, I've got to do this again later I've always come down here with my little man and always seen the bridleway I want to ride down it might be rubbish, it might be great so I'm going to find out today and just around this bend there's a forest, some woodland so I'll be checking it out as well after I get my breath back ok well slight change of plan so I was riding up that hill, my, my chain was slipping uh, substantially, so I haven't even got the leg power to get up that hill. It's pretty steep go, going around that bend, uh, so I can't go up in the second uh, easiest gear, no chance. So I've come into these woods, and there's some interesting features. I've seen lots of trails coming off, um, but pretty overgrown with trees falling over, perhaps with all the wind we've had lately. But it's interesting stuff like this, people are clearly be down there on a bike. It's a bit gnarly for me today, but uh, I'll go and see what else is out there. Well, that's the first. I just rode about a quarter of a mile further than here in that direction. Went to reach my camera, not in my pocket. So I dropped my GoPro. Luckily, I found it just here on the floor. Uh, so, all good. Still got my camera. I wanted to show you down the end, actually. It's uh, a nice little place. Got a Ford and everything. So, uh, I'll probably go back down there and show you, actually. doesn't like a good Ford. Yeah. What an interesting building. Cool windows. And it has just started raining, not too bothered about that. One, I'm in the woods mostly today, I think, so uh, not going to cause me any problems, hopefully. But uh, there's some good trails in this place. I think it's going to take a little bit longer than the hour I've got to explore today. I don't think I'll be riding up there. Let's head back into the woods. Foot as well. So we've got what looks like the end of a nice trail here. Let's go and have a look, see if it's. Uh... Oh, yeah, that looks fun. And you can see skids, so people have been down there on bikes. So I should revisit that today, or at least for the moment today. Depends how big this place is bigger than I anticipated it was going to be. I'm just going to do the perimeter and sort of uh, earmark just like this places for me to come back and have a look at when I've got a bit more time. Let's head that way. That's another one to explore at another time. Well, this place is massive. I'm going to keep heading up here. That looks quite interesting. But I think this goes round and meets around in a loop. So that should help me keep my bearings. Ignore this. I'm just way marking another trail. And another. There's a lot for me to come back for. <laughs> There's so many to choose from. But I'm going to keep going on this loop. I don't know if I mentioned, probably did. Uh, I've only got about an hour today. It takes 15 minutes to drive here from my man cave. So uh, I do need to get back and do some more work for Salvo. So quite a quick one, but a good recce so far. This is definitely a place to come back to. Even if I don't go and find the trails, it's got a nice loop to ride around. Nice cross country little loop. Lovely. I literally said that and then come up against this wall. There's no way I can ride up that probably get up there but not with my gearing at the moment so I'm going to walk up there and see what's what well that was the most fun I've had on a bike for a long time blasting down there there's a uh, gate with loads of signs on it and that up there is Stib Woods so that looks interesting 
but it does say no cycling we'll see what happens but today I'm heading back there but I'm going to cut across here and actually take me to those routes and see what's on if that loop continues that'd be great well there's my lumpy wall which I came up against and I went up there I'm going to keep going that way hopefully find some nice more trails more nice trails well I'm now into cahoots as to what to do because I just came to this trail here and this will be Stib Wood which I was talking about and there's a cool lovely trail that comes down here it's fairly technical it comes over this hump as well and carries on down there so I'm definitely trying that one another time for now try and find this loop it's just started wanging it down uh, I don't know where I'm going but there's a steep bit down here so you're going in my mouth for a little bit so apologies for the breathing Well that was fun, but I don't know where I am now. <laughs> About 20 minutes ago I stopped right down the bottom down there and said that this was an interesting looking feature. But from the top here, it's definitely a li little bit too gnarly for me at the moment, but uh, perhaps we will build up to that. It's steep. I'm going to go this way, which I believe will complete my loop. Uh, I like this place. Oh geez, it is never ending. I've just found another trail that comes down here and nicely leads straight into that gnarly bit I was just talking about. There's so much to explore. Okay, interesting crossroads here. I was imagining my loop I just did would come out here, but it didn't. So that's again for another time. There is a lot of time I can spend here. Sadly, I don't have much of it today. So I'm gonna head back to the car now, I think, and definitely be coming back probably next Friday. It is absolutely bucketing it down now. And uh, I've just ridden down that hill I first started off with today, that on the road one. No wonder it's so hard to get down, so I get up. Probably doing about 35 miles an hour, just rolling down it. But uh, this is the bottom of that bridleway which I was telling you about earlier. And you have to say, it does look quite good fun. And seeing as I'm here, I'm going to push up this steep, this last bit, so it may flatten out a bit and see what it's all about. Well, it didn't get any less steep. I don't know how close I'm to the top, but it's been this steep. You probably can't see how steep it is since I started at the bottom. So who knows what's up there, but I will enjoy riding back down. Well, I have now reached the top. I met with these gates. It goes further still, but I've not got the lungs for that. So I'm going to catch my breath, have a drink and then go down. I'll put you in my mouth. So there will be heavy breathing. I'm sorry. It might even be boring. But we'll see, it could be exciting. Okay, uh, disclaimer, it is rooty, this uh, this terrain, and steep, and wet, so it could be slippy. Uh, so there is a possibility of a bail, I hope not, but uh, here goes. That was fun but you couldn't get any real speed up it's a bit twisty but awesome all the same and i'm glad i didn't stack it my car's just up that road there done okay now that's done bike is uh, now on the roof 
hopefully it'll get washed off on the uh, drive back to the man cave what i'm doing is checking for ticks because they are nasty and give you some nasty diseases so every time i finish my ride i always have a good look check there's nothing untowards because you do not want lyme's disease bit of mud today Oh, looks good i'll have a proper look and a clean up when i get back but uh, i'll show you in a second how far i did okay so uh 5.4 miles today uh gone just over an hour so that was good timing um not very far with this ride today but it was good uh, to come out and explore and it was quite technical in places and um certainly saw lots of other places for me to come and check out so that is good because my list was running a bit dry so i shall be back uh weekend tomorrow Hopefully get a chance to get out and do some more exercise, so I shall see you then if it happens. Good morning, it's Sunday morning and I've come out for a morning stroll with this little geezer. So today we're in Bude. There's a nice place uh, called Stamford Hill Woods, which I've been meaning to check out. I don't think it's really bike friendly, so today's a good opportunity to get a walk out with a little man. Go and see what's what. It's quite hilly. There's probably some quite good trails in there for cycling, but it's not very easy to access with a bike, so we'll go and suss it out and see what's what. First impressions, yes, this does look like it would be quite good fun on a bike, but there's a big stile we just had to climb over, so uh, although you could get a bike in here, it'd be not that easy. So I'm kind of regretting not taking my bike home this weekend. The forecast was for heavy winds, so I, I didn't take my bike home because there's no fun riding your bike in the wind. Uh, but it's not too bad today. It is windy, but uh, it's due to get 45 mile an hour later, so uh, heads coming out for a walk instead. Don't really know where we're going. I think we go over this bridge, Sam. But let's go and have a look over there first. Now these are the woods that I've uh, been interested in when I've driven past along the road. And uh, this pathway, I believe, goes up to uh, another entrance to the footpath which I go past when I do my ride to Windmouth Bay so that seems a bit more accessible so if it's good I can get in from the other end wow this place looks cool I will be immensely surprised if no one is, is uh, riding bikes in here this is cool that's right we go down this little bit here buddy Sam doesn't want to go near any other people. <laughs> There's a very defined man-made trail going along here. It zigzags up. Not sure where it goes past there, but we're going to be walking up because this does look good fun on a bike. And I see a berm over there. Yeah. What is it, mate? Oh, it's like a fairy house, isn't it? It's cool. It's a yeah, it's definitely a helicopter. Should we keep going up, mate? This is by far the coolest place I found near Bude. I'll be coming here on a bike. I can't see any other evidence of cycling, but doesn't mean it's not happened. I see a bit of a tire track there, actually. We're going that way, are we? Wow, look at that. There's lots of old fairy houses. Oh no, terrible accident. Oh. Right, let's try this way, see what's up here. Definitely, someone has made a rubbish jump here. Someone's hacked it apart, obviously. Oh, okay, that would have all been in the middle of it. But, uh, can't work out why they do it here. Oh, okay, so the jump will come this way. And then you've got a little berm down here. With a little trail heading off in this direction. So I'll be trying that out at some stage. Sam, what does that sign say? Good man. Right, so we're not allowed down there. Let's go this way. Okay, so this path over here will meet up onto the road. I'll ride past that part of the uh, the entrance there, so that's uh, good to know because it comes down here. This place is great. And we've got more to explore. Sam, turn left. Turn left. Yeah. No, mate. Oh, Someone's gone through a lot of effort to make all these fairy houses here. Little village. I'll get there in a second, mate. 
donuts, petrol station, don't know what that is, hotel perhaps, store, they're, oh okay, they're bug houses, they're for bugs to live in, bike shop, Car shop. got a drive through there and a few cars, don't know what that is, but lots of people have left those painted stones here. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> right, there's more to explore down here, mate. Let's go. You can go, now. Right you can go now, as long as it's pointing at you. Talk to it and then show them. He hello, this is the forest. Okay, lift the foot up, mate. Uh. Where's your sneaker? There? <laughs> Push down, push down hard. That's it. Right, have you finished showing them? No. Yeah. I'm gonna clean. Well, you can show them a bit more further down, okay? Uh, me and Daddy found a new trail. I'll show you it. Okay, have a little walk down there. Make sure you show them what's on the trail. It's very slippery, isn't it? Because it's been raining a lot. Yeah. Okay. It's got lots of roots, isn't it? This one. Stay at the top bit, mate, because it's really stippy on this bit. Make sure the camera's pointing where you want it to point, mate. So I think this comes out near the ferry house just here, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Short that one, isn't it? There's your little fairy house. All right, this looks cool, doesn't it? Okay, that's it. That's another fairy house. Cool, aren't they? Helicopter. This is another fairy house. the last houses now. Goodbye, I'll see you tomorrow. So this is the other woods that we started off in. And what's, the, what's, what's over the other side of this style here? A bridge. Yeah, always keep the camera put A bridge, isn't there? So we're yeah. going to go over the bridge in a second, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Just like you can walk through there as well, but it's a bit long at the moment. And there's lots of ticks at the moment here. Someone posted a picture on Facebook of their dog, didn't they? With all the ticks that came off it after they walked in there. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's a bit cooler in the shade now, isn't it? Right, should we jump over here, mate? Turn it off. The beat and then um, stream. It's nice, isn't it? It's making me thirsty now. Making you thirsty? Yeah. We're we'll going to get you a drink, mate. It's cool in here, isn't it? Here's a swing summer, mate. We're we were thinking we could go over this way up there, but we couldn't because it was really slippy. Oh, that's, how that's how slippy it is. <laughs> that was a good sign. I know. I was like, oh. Yeah, you wobbled right up, didn't you? Nice little walk out this morning, we only got 1.5 miles but it all adds up and it was a really hard going in some places, it's super slippy, <laughs> as I'm sure you saw. Um, so yeah, that's a nice little bit of wood, that's just over there actually, I've always noticed it when I drive past there, but uh, I'm certainly going to go and uh, head in there with my bike. There's evidence of people have been in there cycling, but it's not a busy spot I don't think for cycling, but uh, certainly looks a bit of fun. There's a trail that zigzags down there, so uh, I'll uh, shoot in there and at least give it a go. But uh, that's it for today, probably. Might see you again later. 
See you later. Good afternoon guys, it is Thursday afternoon and I thought I'd give you a little bit of an update. Uh, it's been a bit of a funny old week this week. Um, sadly I didn't get a chance to get on my bike Monday or Tuesday because I was just too busy at work. Um, on Wednesday when I did have a little bit of time, the weather was atrocious and super foggy. Uh, so I didn't venture out, to, maybe I should, but uh, I didn't fa fancy it if I'm being honest with you. <clears throat> Today Thursday and... Uh, Unfortunately, I had 10 deliveries to take uh, to take in today at work, uh, which arrived with four different couriers. So I had to wait in all day, and the last one turned up at 4.30, uh, by which time it's unpacked and it's time to go home. So unfortunately, no bike ride today. Um, so, like I say, a bit of a naff week this week, but uh, have been eating well, and it is way day tomorrow, so I shall see you tomorrow and let you know how we're getting on. See ya. Hey guys, so welcome back to Blob on a Bike. Uh, I think this is week 26. Um, so a bit of a funny old week. I had a great bike ride on Friday going to suss out a new piece of uh, woodland that I've uh, found near me in Bude. Uh, but it wasn't a very long bike ride, but it was a lot of, uh, you know, up slippery slopes and that sort of thing, should I say. Uh, so it was quite a good workout. Um, weekend, did a couple of walks. I don't think I did any video at the weekend. Um, Monday and Tuesday, just really busy at work. So I didn't get anything done then. And then, Wednesday, weather was crap. Uh, so I'm just being honest, I lazed out, I couldn't be bothered. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, I'm only human. And then yesterday, oh my God, that was a day of a billion deliveries. So unfortunately, being a sole trader, I'm the only one that is here to take deliveries. I can't take delivery if I'm out on my bike. So I was here until 4.30 yesterday when the last delivery came. By then, time for me to go home and have me dinner. Um, so today I might have a little bit of time later on this afternoon to get out uh, but uh, for now it is a weigh-in. Last week my weight was, where are we, uh, 108.6 kilos so let's see where we're at. I've not done a great deal of exercise this week but I have been eating pretty good so we're going to get to it. I'll see you in a second. Okay, so I uh, didn't really know what to expect, but I'm quite pleased to say um, I actually lost 500 grams. Um, no, I didn't. 50 grams, <laughs> which is pathetic. Uh, but I haven't put any weight on, so that's good, considering I've not done a great deal of exercise. Uh, so onwards and upwards, I'll have to uh, make a persistent effort to get out more and do more this week, uh, starting on this afternoon. So um, I'm going to get on with some work so I can do that this Arvo, and I shall see you next week. But thank you very much for stopping by. Please comment, give us a like, and do a subscribe if you haven't done it already. And uh, I shall see you next week. Take care. Bye.